It looks, it looks like the government will not meet the court deadline. If you take a look behind me, you can see there is a protest going on right now. These folks are actually here to support ICE and to support the Trump administration. We understand about 30 to 40 immigrant children under the age of five were set to be reunited with their parents today, but there are dozens more that remain in custody. You could see the line of children walk through a parking lot at this Phoenix shelter this morning. Then some of them appear to get into a white van. A number of these kids are believed to have been among the 30-plus immigrant children expected to be reunited with their parents Tuesday after being separated from their families at the border several weeks ago. The CEO of the Southwest Key Shelter said, Today, Southwest Key is helping reunify separated children with their families. Our staff came in early, made sure every backpack was full and every child got a hug and a goodbye. And the kids hugged us back. They are excited to be on their way to be with their families, and we were thrilled for them. The federal government had until Tuesday to meet a court order to reunite roughly 100 younger children with their parents. But only about a third of those kids are reportedly getting back with their families right now. White vans were seen coming and going from the Southwest Key Complex and Phoenix's ICE office, where police tapes surrounded the building and guards were stationed out front. Government officials say they need more time putting families back together so they can do background checks on parents and ensure the safety of the children. The judge could hold them in contempt. But Phoenix immigration attorney Ray Ibarra Maldonado tells us that's not acceptable. He's concerned that the government has lost track of some kids and doesn't know where their parents are. It's outrageous to think that the federal government takes better care of property than they do of whose children belongs to what parents. It's absolutely ridiculous, and that comes from a federal judge saying that.